Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to export displacement, ma displacement maps from uh, this high resolution geometry and project it back into a low resolution model so it's more efficient to work and to animate. Um, so, first thing that I want to show you is that I have this modifier called multi res. And what I did was applying the multi res, then and adding levels to subdivide the geometry. So I added three levels uh, by clicking three times subdivide, subdivide three times. Um, this allowed me to go into the sculpting mode and start it, getting all this fine detail using textures and, and maps uh, with a brush. But it also created this very heavy model that is very hard to work with. So what I want to do now is uh, basically reproject all this, this all this detail but as texture not as uh, geometry. Also what I want to show you is that if I go to the UV editor and I'll just go to the lowest level which is level zero. <clears throat> and you see there this is the original geometry. Without any of this detail, you will see that the performance is better. But if I select it and I will hit tab and select everything, we'll see that the UVs of this model is not only this 0 to 1 UV tile, but it's divided into 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8 sections also called UDIMs. So this would be the first UDIM, second UDIM, up until the eighth UDIM. This uh, works great because if we have if we have to zoom in with the camera to for example the, the face, we can have this UDIM be in a higher resolution. So we can bring more detail only into this area without having to worry about the, the other the other parts so it's basically creating like a patches of of uh, texture all over the the model and uh, each patch can have a different resolution um, this is uh, better in, instead of uh, creating one huge uh, texture that will consume most of our of our uh, memory I go back to the model and what I'm going to do now is uh, create the, the an image that will um, host the texture. So if I go to shader, shader editor and then create an image texture, click on new, and I will name it as displace displacement. I will make it 2K 2048 by 2048 32 bits uh, full float so it has more detail and also make it tile so it, it can support uh, UDIMs and if here in the image editor I switch to this new image you'll see that I have one single tile called uh, 1001 and if I go here into the UDIM tiles and add seven more tiles, plus this one, it will make eight tiles. If I click OK, just double check that is 32 bits. See that now I have eight UDIMs. So this will be my uh, storage blocks for the textures. Once this is ready, uh, make sure that the level in the viewport is zero while the sculpt and renderer are the highest level. This is uh, important because uh, what we are going to do in the render tab is bake the texture uh, from the multi-res uh, modifier. And this texture won't be the normal, but the displacement in this, in this case, because we won't use it for gaming. And I will also check the low resolution mesh which basically uh, is saying that it will take the lowest level 
which is now is zero, and compare it to the highest level, which is three, and make the projection and create the final uh, displacement map. If I go back to render, everything is ready, and I will hit bake. Okay, the texture has been baked, and you'll see that you have the projection here. I control, control space to uh, maximize this window. You'll see that you have all this detail, this scale detail, but baked in the texture. Now the problem is that uh, if you close Blender, these textures will be erased. So first thing I'm going to do, I will save them. Um, and the folder. And you'll see that the name is this, which is the name of the image texture node. Dot a wildcard called a uh, name Udim, and then dot PNG. We'll have to change the PNG to EXR and to full float to have it in, in 32 bits. I will save as image. Now if I Look for those images. Go to the textures. See that I have eight textures, um, or one texture divided in eight uh, maps, um, so that we can reuse here. So if I go back here, um, what I'm going to do is basically get rid of. This modifier, fire, we won't need them anymore. And then, um, if you want, you can save this file uh, before because it will. You might want to also remove this to reduce the memory. So we'll save it. And delete this. And now I will um, select the mod, the same model, create the image, image tex texture, um, and but this time I will open from from the, the the texture that I already exported. So if I click one of the textures and I change. The name and use the wildcard, use them, and import the image. Now we'll have the all the, the tiles imported here. Next thing I will do is create a displacement node to control the displacement height. And the scale, I know I tested it before, and I know that 0 0.5 is a good value for it. And then basically connect the displacement out output to the displacement input of the material. And basically, that's it. Um, but before uh, rendering this, I will add a new modifier a subdivision surface modifier. And I will um, go to the renderer, change from supported to experimental. It has to be in cycles, not in EV. I'll go back to the modifier tab and activate adaptive subdivision. So the subdivision will be uh, changed depending on the camera and the model detail. So I will go to the material now. And 
in the displacement tab, actually below the displacement, the, the settings, I'll change uh, the displacement setting from bump only to displacement only. And now we are ready to make a preview render of this. Um, yes, finally you can see the detail in this uh, preview. Um, so we have scales, we can always uh, increase or decrease the mid-level and the scale, uh, depending on the model and the scope. But um, now we, the good thing is that we have a, like a low res model with the high res detail that we can use. So thank you very much.